You've got five seconds to subscribe. Why? Because Kushball said so. We are gathered here today for the newest Rogue Killer video. And something tells me this is gonna be an epic one. Acheron.exe. Shout out to Rogue Killer, my bro, an absolute legend of the game, the best EXEs in the business. You have five seconds to subscribe. Oh, let's go. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Hey, yo. Oh, shit. What is that? That's the cutest fucking thing I've ever seen in my entire life. What an update. Every day. Oh, how nice. Just in time. Wanna take some pictures? Always. No Always, March. And no one is answering. What do I do? Seek, and you will find. Huh? Don't forget to let your friends in on the action. Holy Hello, Lord. nurse. On a Thursday afternoon. Still likey. Oh, shit. Here we, Here go, we go again. again. Yeah, boy. Rated PS for pretty stupid. Yeah! I'm gonna give you five seconds to subscribe. No, but like for real, subscribe to Rogue Killer. Space Raid! <laughs> but what the hell, boy? Oh, that's so good. It's like the Spider Man meme. Oh my god, she's so cool. I'm sorry, everybody. I can't keep it together. <laughs> Wait, why is Blade here? Acheron to type to send Blade to the Shadow Realm for real. Bro got a death wish. She the bitch that'll give it to him. What's up, fuckers? Oh my god. I mean, it turned out to be Sparkle, but I didn't realize that for like four watch throughs. I was so hyped on the Stellaron Hunters being in it. I was just running with that narrative, but but eventually I figured out that it was indeed Sparkle. So oh, cool. What the fuck? She's fighting the Stellaron Hunters? I what know. is this trailer? This is Sparkle, right? This is Sparkle. Am I crazy? Yeah. Whoa, yeah. hold up. Yo, smart, smart. <laughs> Homie got it the first time. It took me like four or five times. I was too busy looking at Kafka. What was in the reflection of that car? Gotcha, bitch. Ah, it's herself a white hair. Yo, who is this guy? Who is this guy? He's in like all the road killer videos. Who is that? Hair, very interesting. Yes, I know. We don't need a lore guide saying 10 things you didn't notice. Hey, bitch, this is only nine. No, I'm just memeing because I saw in Tectone's reaction, I was on the screen a few times, as you can see. And after seeing me a few times, Tectone was like, who is this guy? Who is this guy? But Tectone must not remember that me and him have fake beef. Because in a previous Rogue Killer video, Tectone called me dumb and bald. I made a whole response. And I thought we squashed the beef because, like, Tectone came in, dropped a follow on the Twitch and everything. So once again, Tectone, my name is Kushball. I thought he knew me. I guess not. I'm just memeing, though. Now. Oh, my God! Fire! Oh, my God. My asshole. What? Holy shit! Hit him with a Crazy. goddamn Broly bomb! Wait, my panties went away with the beat drop, though. Do I speak for everyone when I say we will be pulling for Acheron? Yes, if you're yes. still skipping Acheron True. after sitting through three trailers, holy base. I'm so excited to pull for Acheron. Uh, everybody Acheron pulled. Hype is so high. You guys won't be mad at me if I six her, right? It was. Spend responsibly. Don't you dare spend money you don't have on this game. Ah! Based. Are Based advice from Tacky. Still going to skip. <laughs> Even if I get a bunch of free anniversary pulls and I have enough that I could get her. Luckily. Didn't MTash like end up getting Acheron by accident trying to pull for Gallagher? Isn't that what happened? I don't know if Rogue Killer is going to show it here, but I, I heard that's what happened. Luckily, I'm not streaming tomorrow night when her banner drops. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to present. But, like, how could you skip Acheron? Honestly, like, if you skipped Acheron, oh, I got questions. I, you, you got, like, a will of steel, and I really don't understand it. Mr. Pokey. <laughs> oh, Perky, Pokey cursing people? 
This is so evil, bro. Depart. This is so evil, bro. I heard Pokey curse Maddie, too. Pokey, stop cursing people. There, there's Maddie. But it'll be pretty funny Bro, if not nice. Like, I'm just like, not nice. Maybe Pokey cursed me. Because <laughs> I lost more 50 50s than ever on the Acheron banner. It was rough. I feel you. I feel that. I don't know. You people know that curse you. people, you know I think that's an L. Thus, I am Acheron. She looks good. She looks so good. Oh, man. She does. She sucks. I'm going to skip her. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to She fall. is so hot. And Acheron's so really powerful. Cool. Half the work is already done. Another journey begins. And so much fun to play. It's a whole different game Stream when you have on. The of she attacks the enemy with a flashy attack and will one-shot common enemies in the overworld and simulated universe. When Bro, doing the sim you with Acheron, it's a whole different game. Literally takes you less than half the time. You, you don't even feel like you're playing the same game as before. Attacking a trotter, elite, or boss, you will enter battle as normal. And she will deal lightning damage to all enemies and do 60 toughness damage to everyone, even if they aren't lightning weak. Mm. Oh my. Mm. Oh my gosh. You violated the law. In the still waters of oblivion, I guide the wandering souls. This costs a skill point, deals 160% damage to the primary target and 60% damage to adjacent targets at talent level 10, and more importantly, it generates one slashed dream. It also adds a crimson knot to the primary enemy that you targeted with her skill. Such a cool animation too. You get like four copies. Look at that! So sick. Human reactions. Ah! You still Man, I haven't gotten to try that team yet. Cause like you can run with Sparkle if you don't have the E2, but the E2 makes the team building a lot easier because you only need one Nihility instead of two in the team. I'm gonna go after the E2 before the end of the banner for sure. Because Acheron Sparkle seems super cracked. Waters of Oblivion, I guide the wandering souls. Her talent essentially makes it so that whenever an enemy gets a debuff from any action, Acheron gains a pedal towards her ultimate, and the enemy gets a stack of Crimson Knot. They can stack up to 9 per enemy, and the goal is to stack them up on enemies before you use her ultimate. I'm about to get racist. Oh no. What am I gonna do? That's What? Happy New Year! It's crazy how fast Acheron actually gets her ult. Like, when I heard about it, and you, I heard that you had to get nine stacks of these debuffs, I was like, man. So it's probably going to be like a regular alt, where it's like, you know, maybe a three-turn alt, maybe a four-turn alt, something like that. But I'm telling you, like, I don't know if maybe I just have, like, the right team or, or what's going on. But it really feels like Acheron gets her ultimate, like, almost every turn. I thought the different mechanic would make it so maybe she would, like, alt less. But it seems like she alts more without having to use energy. It's cracked. She's like always alting. Two. Three. Do it. Just do it. And the ultimate functions like nothing else in the game. It too shall fall. Her ultimate is going to need nine slash dream points, which we talked about in the skill, and also uses Crimson Knot to amplify his damage as well. Her talent is going to blend sniffa, in with sniffa. the ultimate. After reaching her ultimate, she reduces enemy toughness regardless of types, and also reduces res of all types by 20%. So yeah, doesn't matter what your weakness is, doesn't matter your res, she's going to be reducing all of that no matter what. Uncut. And it's just so freaking cool how you can like pause in the middle of it. You can just like pause and like chill for a second. Just look at the scenery.
Like, it's so cool that it just, like, functionally is different than any other alt in the game. And on top of that, it also ignores weaknesses. So it's different in that way, too. But just functionally, it feels different. Oh, oh shit. I'm dead. I'm alive. Now I'm racist. What did you say? Baba Booey. Akron's so much fun. It does feel like you have combos. True. True. That's a lot of damage. Go! Now that's a lot of damage. It is. Life is a puzzle in and of itself. This haven of memories. <laughs> Peaches, 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 Nihility. Nihility on top. Nihility best path. Nihility nation. <laughs> so it's you. Aqua on top, the black swan who on me. How the fuck is anything gonna move? You wanna look out for characters like Black Swan who can apply debuffs outside of their turn. Kafka's another one. Follow True. attack, puts a, a lightning dot on somebody's head. Ruan May can do it as well when you pop her old. I, I've been running in the Simu, like running the Nihility path with Acheron, Kafka, and Black Swan. And, and it's honestly a lot of fun. Like people said it wouldn't be too good. And yeah, maybe it's not the best team in the world, but they sure look good while they're doing their work. Oh, she puts that freaking flower on their head. These kind of units are going to cheat the system and battery the hell out of Acheron while simultaneously inflicting debuffs on enemies. Our paths cross once more. Ready for another dance, Memo Keeper? Oh! What kind of dance do you want this time? Yeah, yeah, it does. Stand still. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's that good stuff. What a beautiful sight to see. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. This is where it ends. Legendary combo. Beating up the ice boy. Just spray. Beat him up, beat him up. The two shall fall. Yo, Road Killer with the beats! Poor Sila, though. True. True. Oh, 07, Sila will be missed. Oh, no. Not the OG Zesty Butterfly. Yo, absolutely legendary EXE from Road Killer. I knew that this was going to be one of the best ever, and it delivered. If you haven't already, subscribe to Road Killer. And you know that you'll already be seeing the next Rogue Killer video here on this channel again. We'll see you next time. Peace!